the Suck Boys and Suck Girls. Today uh, it's me again at my awesome cat and today we gonna I gonna show you something cool something he mostly invented discovered by Etienne 233 uh, it's uh, analog uh, digital converse, uh, conversion but uh, it simply works like uh, if command for analog signal uh, you know in the, like in programming so you can say let's say 20% of the analog signals and some element of the uh, element of the you know element of the logic is activated and you probably will understand when I show you I'm not good talker right <laughs> in English if you have any errors you know I'm not, not a English speaker so uh, it's a magical property of the sequencer yeah, same as counter, it got magical. What's the what's the idea? Main idea? Well, when you put that, uh, let's make some analog signal. Let's start with this. We're gonna make a, a timer on direction. Maybe not. Mm, uh, in directional gonna plug it on the sequencer and we're gonna set directional right, as I said let's make some maybe second long so we want two seconds long okay and now uh, set input mode of the sequencer to the uh, positional what this uh, positional mode makes it sets the cursor of the sequencer uh, to the percentage of the analog signal you will, sh you will see it so let's uh, oh I, I need to unpause you can see uh, when the analog signal of the timer increases that uh, the cursor of the sequencer moves so what this allows? It allows to practically set, uh, you know, the deck the analog uh, signal uh, value. You can see the length of the uh, sequ uh, sequencer makes makes uh, you know uh, the different scale of the analog signal. So how to measure this? Let's start with measuring. Uh, my my trick mostly is by using the batteries. You can use side if you don't plan to use them in every aspect. Simply simply uh, get on the rows. If you plan to use the outputs, uh, put this in zigzag. But we're gonna make on the side. So. Let's say, uh, let's make a uh, detection of one fifth of the analog signal, uh, the precision. So we, name, we make five batteries, right? And make it here. And now we got uh, one fifth precision detection of the analog signal. So here we got one fifth, uh, 20%, 40%, 60%, and so, so on. So now we can set some uh, batteries to detect the specific uh, um, um, ex except expectations, right, of the signal. So let's say we want to let one of the batteries when uh, a signal is between 60, uh, 20 and uh, 60. So we're going to expand it here and place it simply. And plug it to the battery, uh, to the lamp. Let's make another. Let's say we want to detect uh, from zero to uh, twenty. Uh, no, to zero to forty, right? We're gonna place it here. And here you go. So now by. Changing the value, 
C is the DEX specific analog signal position. And not all, you can of course, uh, it's not controllable when you use it, simply we're gonna loop it like that and we'll detect specific value. Oh, why it's not working? Yeah. Interesting, huh? And you can control the speed of it. When you, for example, you can control speed of but you can do that without uh, positional mode. But as you can see, you can also do something like this. Plug it to the analog stick. Look at that. The deck position of analog uh, uh, stick. Interesting. You can make advanced controls with this. The dead zones and such. Okay. Uh, let's try to backward the process. Uh, uh, so to detect, uh, uh, you can set specific, uh, you know, the digital signal to the analog values, specific analog values. Uh, to do that, you can use uh, end gates, end gates, battery, and as you may know, you can set battery to specific analog value, let's say 20. You're gonna bring some selector. So we can select specific value. I'm gonna make three values, for example. Uh, let's place here. Okay, let's plug it here. Uh, we're gonna make this to the deck dimmer input mode. As you can see it's the 20, uh, 20, uh, 20 signal. So let's make uh, uh, let's make this cleaner simply by pu pushing this here. Sorry, I, you don't understand. I really messing this up, but you can see, you can get the idea. I probably be, be improve uh, every video, so maybe some way I will talk this perfectly. Uh, okay. So let's plug this to the second analog stick. Oh, I forgot to set the specific, let's say one will, will be half and second will be full power. Oh, I didn't plug this in. Oh shit. Sorry, I always fail. We need our gate. Right. Uh, oh great, whatever. This is probably my level will always buggy. <laughs> so here you go. Yeah, it's changing the value. So it's uh, digital to analog converter. This technique is uh, uh, analog uh, to digital. Interesting, huh? Now we can make a whole process. You should get the idea how this works now. I also noticed and we got zero percent not detecting this uh, at all. Also interesting stuff. So this is my second uh, video of my some uh, uh, trick, uh, some analog tricks, tutorials. I'm gonna make more of them if I get some. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're gonna use this. By the way, I use uh, this technique to to build my uh, static noise. So I hope you enjoy it and see you next video on next video.